The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the 11th chapter, beginning with the 16th verse. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew 11, 16 through 19 and 25 through 30. Jesus chides people who find fault with both his ministry and that of John the Baptist. He thanks God that wisdom and intelligence are not needed to receive what God has to offer. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking. And they say, he has a demon. The son of God came eating and drinking and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Lord, we are weary. We carry heavy burdens. Let us now hear and feel your invitation to lift our burdens and give us peace. In your name we pray. Amen. I have recently joined the Y, my family did, just this last week, and so I've been lifting weights this last week. And it has truly been a humbling experience because I realized I'm not the man I used to be. (laughs) According to the weight stacks and the dumbbells, I'm about half the man I used to be. And so I must admit to you that I'm feeling a little bit sore, uh, realizing muscles that I haven't used in a long, long time, feeling things I haven't felt in a long, long time, and bagging groceries Friday and Saturday. Thank you all for your support, and thank you for um, shopping there. Um, That didn't add to things. It actually, I became more sore from it. So today I am feeling it. However, there was a day when weightlifting took on a whole new meaning for me in my life. And that was on this date, January 23rd, 2005. That was my ordination day. That was just one week before I began at Trinity. The bishop placed upon my shoulders that red stole that I showed to you in the children's sermon. And when he first put that on my shoulders, it felt very heavy. This yoke represents the ministry, the burdens, the pains, the unheard prayers spoken unspoken, of this community that I was called to, this place called Trinity Lutheran Church that I was just beginning to know at that time. Even though the stole is made of cloth, it was heavy because I felt the immense spiritual gravity of the call to this community. According to our Lutheran Study Bible, 
I just want to make sure I'm not plagiarizing. My mom is an English teacher. My wife is an English teacher. According to the Lutheran Study Bible, a yoke is a carved piece of leather and wood, and it is placed on a pair of oxen to keep them working together to pull a plow. Also, during Jesus' time, a teacher or a rabbi's, they were described as obeying the law or the Torah as, as a yoke. Here in the gospel, Jesus invites his followers to put on Jesus' yoke or to put on Jesus' teaching as he would bid them to come and follow him. And he would promise them, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So what are your burdens? What are the things that weigh you down? That make you feel stress in your shoulders? Feel soreness in areas that you haven't had before? Do you suffer from chronic pain? Or anything that's just a constant stress in your life? Do you have stress with your job or with your family? All of these things can weigh you down. Do you feel the gravity of shame or guilt pulling you down into despair? Do you need to cast your burdens? I know I do. For this is the call of discipleship, to take Jesus' words to heart this day as he calls to you on this 4th of July weekend, this Independence Weekend, 4th of July, our freedom, celebrating it. He says to you, he says, come to me, all of you who are bearing heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus' yoke is his teaching. This is what calls to you in the depths of your despair, that he will raise you up and make your burden light and give you newness of life. This weekend we are mindful of America and all of those who have gone before us, cultivating our soil, our dark, rich soil, pulling the yoke, if you will, doing the hard work, defending us, defending and dying for our freedoms, tilling the soil that we can continue to plant seeds of hope and freedom into our children and our grandchildren's generations. And also this weekend we are mindful of Trinity's great cultivating tradition. Over the last 125 years of countless people who have gone before us, pulling those heavy yokes, continuing the work of Jesus, living out his teachings here in this place. Trinity has good, rich, soil and has planted and nourished and watered many seeds of faith and so I am thankful this day as well to be serving what an, an amazing group of people here at Trinity and so I have a confession for you all today it is a confession of both sin and of grace and it has to do with the weight of my stole on Sunday mornings, when I get robed up in my office, I can honestly say that this stole feels heavy. I'm putting on your prayers, named and unnamed. I'm putting on expectation. I'm putting on teaching. I'm putting on preaching. I'm putting on the ambassadorship, the advocacy of Christ, that I'm called to this community, I'm responsible, um, I'm accountable to you all. It feels heavy. 
But what changes everything is that at the same time, I'm putting on Christ. That changes everything. And through the service, Jesus Christ lightens our burdens. He lightens mine. He lightens all of ours. Through confession and forgiveness, my weight becomes lifted. By the preaching and hearing of God's word, I hear the promise, I cling to the promise, and I realize that it's not all about me, it's not all on my shoulders. It's the one who died on the cross who carries our yoke, our burdens, who lightens our load. And through the meal, in the eating and in the drinking, I am filled and refreshed and forgiven by the one who died for me. And finally, as, well, as we go out and visit and we share each other's prayers and joys, concerns, just catching up with all of you in the body of Christ, my yoke is light. And as the sending song sends us out to serve in our communities, I got to tell you that that song sticks in my head the rest of the day. And my countenance is lifted and my head is held high. And I feel better every time I come to this church and worship with you all. It's a transformational experience. So something happens every Sunday. My yoke goes from heavy to light. I go into my office and I just whip this thing off like it's a feather. It's a beautiful thing. And so perhaps it's no different for you. That you all have burdens that you bring to church. Whatever that might look like in your life. Some of them are heavy. Some of them are just sort of little annoying things that keep racing around in your head but their burdens nonetheless. And this is my prayer for you, that you experience transformation on Sunday mornings or on Wednesday nights through worship, through the amazing people here in this place, through the word, through the meal. And finally and foremost, that you would take to heart and cling to the promise that Jesus says to you today. He says to you, come to me, all of you, that are bearing heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. May God bless you all this Fourth of July weekend. Amen.